All right, so what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the gaming desk board for eSports. Um, I don't sure why it's called a gaming desk or what makes it a gaming desk, um, but we're going to see today. We're going to unbox it and then we're going to put it together and then we're hopefully everything works. And uh, yeah, let's go. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out of the box. I'm gonna fast forward it for you guys, and then I wanna start putting everything together. There is a lot of stuff in this box, so let me just yeah get everything sorted, and then I'll see you guys in a second. So guys, just to recap, um, it's not World Cup Fiber, obviously, but it's like, uh, made out of wood, and it's got this um, like top layer meant to be carbon fiber and I love that it's got the little uh, cable organizer too so that's one side which I'm pretty surprised that's a, a pretty big size so let's say that's gonna be there and then that one's gonna be there so it's gonna take a decent size of my room so yeah that's gonna be interesting so all right let's just see what we have in this box here I'm not really sure just quickly find out Okay, cool. We just got some. This is the cable organizer, uh, which you will put under your table to obviously make sure everything's nice and neat. So I might put my um, extension lead there, or um, obviously sort my cables, which is pretty cool. We've got a screwdriver and all our tools that we're going to need, which is pretty handy. Um, we've also got the floor mounts slash um, obviously foot for the desk and a lot of screws and I like that it's very organized all in the packet um and what's we got in here we've got more supporting frames and I think there's other side frames as well so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a time lapse um of everything it's gonna be a very very long video <laughs> if I didn't time lapse it so yeah let's get to it let's get to it So we've managed to do the desk legs. Uh, it took us about 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of little things you kind of need to notice. Example, on this top bit, you gotta make sure that the bit of the screws is facing upwards to attach this bit here. So make sure if you are gonna you know, buy this desk that you do that because we had to re-undo everything and do it again. But we're gonna put this, this and these side panels on. This one, I believe, has got the hook which is gonna hold and support the drink holder. Um, and we're gonna figure out how that goes. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep you guys posted um, and uh, yeah. All right, so for this bit, what we've done is we've turned the table upside down and um, we've put the two tables, you can see, according to that. And then we're just gonna screw each hole um, and that's it, the next stage. All right, so this is a table right now in my room um, without sorting everything out. And that's that with that mat. And this is with that, this is with the mat now. And then this is the setup with the mat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the mat because definitely like, you know, it was a free, included free mat. Um, and it's literally huge mongers. So I'm gonna keep this mat. Also, there is a um, a stand for controllers and games. Um, but I'm not sure I'm gonna keep my games there because I've got a lot of games and it just doesn't make sense to have all of them stacked up. On the table, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. So I'm gonna see what works either to have my PC on the floor or have it on there. But I've got a lot of space, so. We'll see what we, work with, what we can work with and then yeah, we'll move on from there. All right, so basically a lot of things had to change. Oh, dude, it's probably right now, it's currently 8.30 and I started this around 6.30. So it took me about two hours, about 30 minutes to the table. And then the rest is just, because I've decided to either keep my, my um, PC on the floor or on the 
where my speaker, my left, my right speaker from my hand side is. Cause you can see I've got speakers that, cause I do music. And I've got my interface right here, bang in the middle. Then I've got my microphone. I've got my um, trusty wireless um, phone charger and my Apple charger. So I needed those there and put my PC on the desk took so much real estate is what I like to say. So I decided to cancel that day, keep it on the floor, but tilt it so I can still see it. Um, got my monitor. So I also, before I had my 4K monitor on my PS4, but because technically it's pointless because I don't have a PS4 Pro and obviously when the PlayStation comes out, that's when I'll be able to use my 4K monitor. But right now there's no point. So uh, what I've done is I've gone back to my, for my main monitor for gaming, I've gone back to my 24 inch monitor and then for my PC, because um, on YouTube I can watch 4K on, um, and on Netflix and you know Disney and all of that I can watch it all on my PC and it makes more sense to have that on my PC right now because obviously PCs you know right now it's able to output 4K so that's the biggest change for now is trying to get unused to the 28 and go back to used to the 4K but I love my 4K it, it was the clarity was amazing so that's not a problem for me it's just yeah watching it especially especially gameplays of um, The Last of Us, watching it back on my um, my 24 inch monitor looked way better, which is weird um, compared to my 4K. So I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not using a, because obviously the, my PC is using a DV display port um, and it just looks, I don't know, it just looks much more clear. Maybe I'm just using a really old HDMI, so maybe that's why. I just, it just doesn't look right on the, PS4 doesn't look right on the 4K monitor right now. so. I've left that alone, maybe I should have just got a PlayStation, PlayStation Pro. But obviously I've had this PS4 since day one, so there's no point in upgrading. So what I've done is, I've got my PS4 there, my speakers there, got my hard drive there as well. Um, I believe that's a, this is a two terabyte hard drive. Um, and I've got my speakers there. Then I've got my trusty, I need to get on a new mouse, honestly, and a matching keyboard. I've probably got it, a um, Corsair one to match with the cooling. Um, speaking of that, let me turn everything on, make sure everything works. I actually haven't turned in anything on, so cable management could be better, um, but it's just taking too long. I can, so I'm gonna sort this out later, but now, cause I'm trying to, you know, finish this video by today. Didn't wanna record again. So I'm just gonna try to finish this video today. So I need to redo the power, I mean, sorry, the internet. Um, downstairs, cause I think me turning everything off probably messed everything up. Okay, monitors working, perfect. Um, let's try this PC. Hopefully nothing's broken. Motherboard, that's a good sign. Let's turn it on. It's pretty cool because this case is touch sensitive. So you do actually, the first time you turn it on, you've got to press the button, but after you've turned it on, you, it's touch sensitive. So you just press it once to turn it on. And I will do a full video of my PC because I feel it's, it's not giving it justice just to, um, just to have, you know, have everything rushed. But obviously, you know, as you can see there, that's everything on my PC. Give you a better view. So from here on out, I got distracted with the whole point of this video, which was about the desk. And just like I said, I will have a full video describing all the specifications of the PC and a lot of you showing a lot of interest, so that will be uploaded very soon. But it was a very good experience unboxing and setting up, up this desk. It took me less than 30 minutes. I will let you guys know how it holds up. But thanks for watching and I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on a later video. Peace.